Welcome to the realm of astrology. This is your horoscope for the weekend of 4th to 5th September 2021. But before we begin, I would request you to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can be notified every time I post a video. And I also want to let you know that I do daily video horoscopes, weekly video horoscopes and monthly sun rising sign video horoscopes. And you can watch all those on my YouTube channel and the monthly horoscopes for your sun and rising sign are on my channel now for the month of September. So you can watch those if you're interested. And I have also made a video talking about the longer term energies for your particular sign. And that video talks about energies up till 2023. So you can watch that as well if you're interested. And now let's talk about the astrology. So I'll begin with Saturday. And the first important thing happens at about 6 a.m. in the morning. And what's happening here is that the moon is trining Chiron, right? So the moon at 11 degrees of Leo is trining Chiron in Aries and a trine is a positive aspect. And Chiron is the planet of our deepest wounds. It's the planet of healing as well. And the moon is our emotions. So at this point, we might receive some sort of emotional healing. And this emotional healing is connected to the recent past because Chiron is retrograde. We've seen glimpses of this energy before. Chiron is covering ground that it's already covered in the past. So that's the first thing that happens on Saturday, an emotional healing of sorts connected to the past. And this is 6 a.m. Pacific time, which makes it about 6 p.m. Indian Standard Time. And if you are on the eastern part of the world, the Indian time will resonate more with you. Alternatively, you can always convert the Pacific time to your time zone to know exactly when the energy is going to peak for you. The second important thing happens at about noon Pacific time, which makes it about midnight India time. And what's happening here is that the moon at 14 degrees is squaring Uranus. Now, this energy can feel stressful because a square is a stressful aspect. It represents friction. It represents overcoming challenges and obstacles. It requires us to make adjustments and changes. And in this case, it's our moon, our emotions that are required to be adjusted in, in um, lieu of Uranus, right? Uranus is a planet of sudden unexpected changes. It's the planet that wants us to be authentic self. So at this point, we might need to make an emotional change, an emotional adjustment, overcome an emotional challenge so that we can move one more step towards embracing our unique authentic self. But this change, this adjustment, this energy can really come out of nowhere and quite suddenly because Uranus is sudden and unexpected. So this moment here might feel stressful. And moving on, the next important thing happens at about 6 in the evening Pacific time, which makes it about 6, 7 in the morning Sunday India time. And what's happening here is that Mercury is trining Saturn. Now Mercury is the planet of our thinking, communication, social media, immediate environment, peer groups, siblings, um, health, job, diet, routine, lifestyle, exercise, so many things are ruled by Mercury. And Mercury is trining Saturn, a positive aspect to the planet of hard work, decisions, discipline, commitments. So at this point, we might take a decision, make a commitment when it comes to all Mercury things, right? When it comes to communicating, thinking, our immediate environment, peer groups, siblings, social media, <clears throat> diet, exercise, health, job, any one of these things. And this energy is in a trine with the North Node. Saturn has been trining the North Node for months and the North Node is our goals. It's where we are headed. It's the future. And Saturn is trining that, which means that we have been moving towards these goals and these goals are for the long run because Saturn is there trining the North Node. And now Mercury is trining this energy as well. So whatever changes we make to Mercury things, whatever commitments we make regarding Mercury things, or however we define our Mercury things, thinking, communication, diet, health, lifestyle, routine, immediate environment, peer group, health, job, 
is so that we can make those mercury things in sync with our goals. So these changes will help us move towards our goals, the goals for the long run. So that's a positive alignment today. And that sums up Saturday. So apart from one stressful aspect at about noon Pacific time, the energy is pretty um, easy and the evening we have a positive aspect. And then on Sunday, we begin Sunday with a positive alignment, which happens at about 5 a.m. Pacific time. And what's happening here is that the moon in Leo is sextiling Venus. So this is a feel-good energy about our relationships, projects, self-worth, value, skills, and finances. However, that being said, soon after, soon after this aspect at about 8 a.m. Pacific time, so 5 a.m. Uh, Pacific time was the moon sextiling Venus, which makes it 6 p.m. India time. And then at 8 a.m., which makes it 8 p.m. India time, we have the moon opposing Jupiter retrograde. So we feel good. In the morning, we feel good about Venus things, our relationships, projects, self-worth, value, skills, finances. But soon after that, we start to feel a little less hopeful about things because Jupiter is opposing the moon. Jupiter is the planet of hope and optimism and joy. And then, so, and the moon is our emotion. So at this point, we may need to motivate ourselves so that we can feel hopeful and optimistic about the life that we are building. So the morning can be mixed, you know, it can feel like, oh, I feel so good. And a couple of hours later, it's like, okay, I'm losing some hope right now. I'm not feeling the best. Why am I not motivated? Why am I so pessimistic at this point? So that's because the moon is opposing Jupiter. And the requirement of this energy is that you maintain your hope, optimism, and joy. And towards the evening, we have the next aspect. And that's the moon's going to change signs, okay? And the moon changes signs every two and a half days. And when it does, the energy in our life, the focus in our life shifts in subtle ways. So the moon has changed signs at this point. From Leo, it has entered the sign of Virgo. Now, Leo and Virgo energy is very different. The moon in Leo was all about following, your, following our heart, doing what we love. But that was being opposed by the Saturn energy. So it was, okay, I love this. I want to do this. But Saturn was there saying, are you willing to work hard for it? And in, when the moon was in Leo, we worked hard as well towards things that we loved or wanted to do. But Virgo is different. Virgo is about getting organized. It's about getting planned. It's about making things perfect. And Virgo energy can feel very stressed. So the moon in Virgo is about these things. We will be organizing. We will be planning. We will be uh, making things perfect. And we might feel stressed. And the moon, in, the moon is in Virgo. This is where we have the new moon, which happens on September 6th, Monday. So the moon has entered the sign of Virgo. And speaking of the moon, this weekend is also the balsamic phase of the moon. Now, these, this is two to three days before the new moon. And this period of two to three days is a very intense release process, a subconscious release process. So we might be releasing a lot of things and that can make us feel a little low in energy physically. So I just thought I'd mention that. So 5 p.m. Pacific time, the moon changes signs, which makes it 5 a.m. India time, Monday morning. And then moving on, we have a lot of intensity at 7 p.m. Pacific time. Venus here is squaring Pluto. Pluto retrograde. Venus is our projects, it's our self-worth, it's our skills, finances, relationships. All these things are Venus ruled. And Venus is squaring, making a stressful aspect with Pluto, the planet of complete transformation and change. So at this point here, we will be required to transform Venus things, our relationships, projects, skills, self-worth, values and finances and a square can feel challenging so this moment here can feel stressful however there is a silver lining and that is that soon after this venus does move on this technically happens tomorrow but venus does move on and it 
trines Jupiter makes a positive aspect to it, right? So, but the beginning of that transformation might feel stressful. So we are required to change something, transform something, end something, begin something when it comes to our relationships, our projects, our self-worth, values, and skills. So this is 7 p.m. Pacific time, which makes it 7 a.m. India time Monday morning. And let's talk about what else is going to happen. So Venus soon after it squares Pluto, right? It is going to move on and it is going to trine Jupiter, which to me means that once we make these adjustments, once we transform, there's a blessing. Jupiter is the planet of blessings. And all that, all this is connected to the recent past. And with Pluto, think of April. Think of April because Pluto is covering degrees. It covered in about April, May, around then. So think of your life back then. And this change, this transformation probably um, is in some way connected to that. And I do want to mention that Mars here is getting ready to try and make a positive aspect with Pluto. And this will also happen technically tomorrow. So Mars trining Pluto is a very positive aspect. It's a lot of energy, right? Mars is the planet of our willpower, drive, taking action, taking initiative. And Pluto is transformation, catharsis, endings, beginnings. So at this point, we may really find that drive to change things, to transform. And again, think of April, May. So this happens tomorrow, but we will feel the intensity of the Venus square Pluto. So this change, this transformation to Venus things can feel stressful initially, but there's a blessing eventually, or there's a lesson. Jupiter is also lessons after we make that change. And whatever this is, it we will find that courage, that willpower drive to make that transformation happen. And with this, I will close out the reading for today. However, I do want to mention we have the new moon tomorrow on September 6th. So we'll talk about all that. So this is an intense weekend, especially from Sunday evening onwards, the intensity starts to really build up. And now I will pick a card for the weekend. I typically give a big picture of 2021 in every video except for the weekend video because I like to keep it as short as I can. So I will do that. And if you want to know the big picture of 2021, you can watch my yesterday's daily horoscope or you can wait for the daily horoscope, uh, next daily horoscope. So let's see what card we have in store for this weekend. And then we'll close out the reading. Okay. I'll go with the top card. Just clean it up. And this card to me says Virgo, right? <laughs> Virgo is also about cleaning. It's about making things clean and spotless and in, in some ways, this is not literal cleaning. I think this is getting rid of things that don't serve us anymore. And Pluto is also catharsis, so this could very well be an emotional cleaning, organizing things. And this card also focuses on doing the mundane. And when the moon is in Virgo, we focus on the day-to-day -day because Virgo is our day-to-day. -day. So the energy of the weekend is that we will be doing a lot of cleaning up, whether that's to our emotions or to projects or whatever it is and we will also be indulging in the day-to-day -day. So now i will see you for the new moon video and i hope you have a great weekend bye